Good morning and welcome to the friendly town of Keith in Murray. This morning I have come to Dunnyduff Woodland and the reason I've come here is because it leads to a beautiful waterfall called the Falls of Tarnash. The weather forecast today was rain, rain and more rain but as you can see it is incredibly sunny this morning, incredibly sunny. I always find when the weather forecast is bad I like to get myself to waterfalls because you don't have that harsh light reflecting on the water and ruining your images which is why I'm here today but because the weather's so beautiful I think I've picked the wrong location but we're gonna go for a walk anyway see if we can get some images of this waterfall and just take it from there What a gorgeous morning. I got up at half past six this morning and travelled here. It's only eight o'clock now. It's so nice to be up and out before people have even started work. I just love it. I've only been to this waterfall once before. It was many years ago now. But I remember it being so much more beautiful than I expected it to be. It is another hidden gem here in Scotland that I always go on about. But these hidden gems and hidden treasures are everywhere if you know where to look and it's all about just getting out there and exploring. I haven't done any landscape photography videos for a few weeks now so I'm really hoping that this morning I'm going to get some decent images to show you all. Spring is definitely here, all the birds are singing and it is just glorious. It's a visiting day What a lovely noise it is listening to the birds communicating with each other and singing. Oh, after such a long winter, it's so lovely to hear that noise. Hearing life returning, life returning for another spring and summer. It's such a glorious sound. It always fascinates me how loud small songbirds, garden birds, woodland birds, you know, how loud they are when they sing. It's something that we should all cherish, we should all listen to, and we should all enjoy. Nature truly is wonderful. It's never ending, the noises. Oh, it's so beautiful. Can hear the waterfall. It's not far away now. It has been very dry this last week or two so I am hoping that there's still going to be enough water in it to get a decent image. But this is a gorgeous area full of gorgeous scenery, singing birds, beautiful woodland. What a great way to start a Thursday morning. of Tarnash. What a gorgeous place this is. 
I remember when I first came here it was so unexpected. I knew there was a waterfall here but it is such a beautiful, quaint and just lovely and peaceful location to be. Wow. I'm going to chill here for a few minutes, gather my thoughts, tune into the environment. Then I'm going to head down here, get my camera out and try and get some photographs of this lovely, lovely hidden waterfall here in the Keith countryside. Compositions that I can do here. We've got some nice leading lines with the rocks and the flowing water. I'm also thinking of getting an image with me and the waterfall, long exposure, just showing some human interaction with the subject. I'm going to get my camera out, set it up in a couple of different positions, see what we can get. But my goodness, I forgot how glorious this location was, how stunning it is, and how inspiring and awakening coming somewhere like this can be. And look, I've got it all completely to myself. Beautiful. I don't believe it. There's something missing from my bag. Something vital for long exposure photography. left my tripod at home. I don't believe it. There's nothing I can do about it and I'm not one to dwell when things go bad like this. So I've got a wee monopod that I use for my vlogging camera which it's currently mounted on. It is built for DSLRs but one of the legs is currently broken so I'm not sure if it's going to be able to hold my camera but I either walk away and don't get any images or I try and make the most of the situation with the gear that I do have. So, I'm going to mount my DSLR onto this monopod. It's obviously going to restrict me in terms of angles and where I can put it, but we might still be able to get some images. In fact, we will still be able to get some images and just embrace this place. I'll be able to go home knowing that I've captured it. Maybe not in the best way, but in the best way I could, given the circumstances. It is really allowing me to be more creative. I'm having to put my camera really close to the ground because one of the legs of my monopod is broken so it's not supporting the weight. But it's allowing me to see different angles, different outlooks. I'm not managing to get any proper long exposure images just because of camera shape. So what I'm going to do is something that I've never done before. I'm going to increase the shutter speed quite dramatically and see if I can get some you know, water frozen in the moment. Something a bit different, but like I say, you've got to make the most of the situation. If you forget a bit of equipment, you've just got to use what you've got. At the end of the day, I have travelled 45 minutes to get here. I'm not going to go all the way back to get my tripod to come back again. It's a half an hour's walk from the car park to the waterfall. I've just got to make the most of it. I haven't got the time to go back and get the gear. And that's something you should put into your photography if you ever leave the house for something and you've forgotten some important gear. Just use what you have, make the most of the situation and challenge yourself because you never know what you might manage to photograph and what opportunities might present themselves to you. So 
So those quick shutter speed images never worked, which is unfortunate, but I tried and that's all you can do. So, I think I've made the most of the last few hours despite not having my tripod. I am human and like all humans, we sometimes forget things. It's not worth beating ourselves up over, it's not worth putting ourselves down. You've just got to make the most of, you, of the situation you find yourself in and use the equipment you've got. At the end of the day, I never forgot my vlogging camera and I never forgot my actual camera. So I still managed to get some images. I also did some scouting around this location after I'd been down to the waterfall. This would be a fantastic place to come in the autumn. The leaves here change colour, they fall off, you've got beautiful meandering paths, beautiful leading lines, and obviously you've got that stream with the little rapids and waterfalls. So if I get a chance I will be back here in the autumn time, fingers crossed, with my tripod and all my camera gear, and I can try again. So, this morning's not been a complete waste. I've got out, I've listened to the Dawn Chorus, I've filmed this vlog, I've got some images, I've tried to be more creative, make the most of the situation, and I've discovered some great compositions at a great location to come in the autumn time. What more could I ask for? And it's only half past nine in the morning. Got the whole day ahead of me to do whatever else I want to do. So, thank you all again for watching. I hope this video has filled you with some happiness and some joy and showed you why you should get out into nature early in the morning and make the most of the situations you find yourself in. I will hopefully see you all again next time. After all of that, my tripod is in my boot all along. Never mind.